Yo, what is up guys, it's Paul here and today I'm going to show you a neat little application that will show you how much time you have left until the bomb uh, blows up basically. There's two of these applications, one is uh, suitable for a dual monitor setup and the other one is basically an overlay in the game. So I'll show you what both of them look like. Okay guys, so as you can see I'm now in the game, I am just gonna go plant the bomb and I will show you what it looks like. I will have to tap for this because I don't have dual monitors just to show you what it looks like. So as you can see I planted a bomb there and now I'm going to show you what it looks like when I tab. Okay guys, so as you can see this is what it looks like when I plant the bomb. Basically it's going to tick down and for some reason it's like speeding up now because I'm tabbed. But when you're normally playing it's not going to speed up that fast. So uh, yeah, basically that's uh, the first way you can have the timer on one monitor and then you can have uh, the game running on your main monitor. And you know you can basically see how the bomb goes off then. So uh, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the other way to do this, which is with a different program and it's going to overlay in the actual game itself. So yeah, okay guys, so now I'm going to show you the other way of doing this. For this method, you have to be in full screen window mode. So basically what that looks like is you go to your options, uh, your video settings, and then full screen window. You have to be in full screen window for this to work. That means that your brightness settings are going to be disabled and you might have... Uh, some trouble with FPS, so yeah, I wouldn't really recommend this uh, way. I'd recommend using the other methods. So I'm just gonna plant the bomb and show you what it looks like. So as you can see there, you when you plant the bomb, you get the timer on the top of the screen, and it's ticking down. Obviously, you know when it ticks down to zero, the bomb's gonna blow up. So that's basically what it looks like. This timer isn't like exactly a hundred percent accurate, but it gives you a good estimation of what the of uh, what the time <coughs> for the bomb to blow up will be. So yeah, in my opinion the other one is a lot more accurate and if you have a dual monitor setup use that one. So now I'm just going to show you how to uh, how to install these. Okay guys, so I'm basically going to show you how to um, get this stuff to work. Um, so what you have to do is uh, you have to download everything. I will have links in the descriptions and uh, the posts on Reddit where I actually got this information from and you know the credits of all the people that actually created this stuff. So yeah. Um, so what you do is uh, you download the, this, okay this is the one that you would use in a dual monitor setup, the one that isn't in the game. So basically you download the CSGO 4 timer and uh, all you have to do is you copy this, this CFG file. Uh, you copy or you cut it or you move, you basically you have to move it into this folder right here. Um, go into your Steam directory, Steam apps, uh, common, counter strike, uh, CSGO, CFG and you just paste it right in here. Uh, obviously I have it here so it will say replace file but it won't say that for you. So basically you paste that in here and for the other one it's basically the same thing for the, the in-game CSGO timer. You're gonna get the same file game stage uh, underscore integration but the ending will be different this one will be CSGO timer and you just put it in here and you're basically done with that. So to get these to run basically you start the game uh, then you tab and then you basically start the application. So for the one that you would use in a dual monitor setup, uh, the one that's actually not in game, you would basically just go here and you know start the application, CSGO timer, and then it you know starts that and then links with your CSGO and you know when you plant the bomb it shows it up. Uh, and then the other one that you would use in game is you start the game, make sure that it's on full screen windowed, otherwise it won't work. And then uh, you start this Java file right here. So I have a link to everything that I'm talking about in the description. And apparently this is a vac safe. And I post a link to explain why it's vac safe and all that stuff. So yeah guys, that's pretty much how you get a bomb timer in the game. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like. If you disliked it, drop a dislike. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. And I will catch you guys next time.